EVs have grown in popularity dramatically in recent years, although they still have a lower adoption rate than their gas-powered counterparts. One of the primary reasons why consumers are hesitant to commit to an electric vehicle is range anxiety. But what if there was a battery capable of providing over 800 miles of range to an EV the size of a Tesla Model S? That's exactly what a Michigan-based battery technology startup claims to have. Its proof-of-concept battery allowed the Model S to go 800 miles straight without needing to be recharged. Can't believe it? Well, keep watching to find out how. The driving range of an electric vehicle is definitely a point of interest. One of the biggest factors discouraging potential buyers from investing in an electric vehicle is, as mentioned, range anxiety. So far, there are only two approaches to alleviate range anxiety among EV purchasers. The first is Tesla's supercharger network, which provides ubiquitous, dependable, and nationwide DC rapid charging. Unfortunately, Tesla is the only company that does so right now. Every other EV is reliant on a patchwork of private networks with varying levels of reliability. The second is to improve the range of electric vehicles by combining large capacity batteries with increased efficiency. That's the strategy adopted by Mercedes-Benz. It's why the automaker was overjoyed when it was able to produce the Vision EQXX concept with a mammoth 620 mile range using F1 derived battery and wind tunnel technologies. Even in a concept automobile, 620 miles is a considerable range, especially if it works and is road legal. Tesla continues to improve the range of its vehicles, but this generally entails double-digit gains, which, although welcomed, do not significantly alter charging behavior. The first Tesla car, the Roadster, had a range of just over 200 miles, which was quite impressive for a fast and sporty electric vehicle in 2008. In modern Tesla vehicles, the range starts at 272 miles for the rear-wheel drive Model 3, with 315 miles for the performance and 358 miles for the long-range all-wheel drive. The range for Model Y starts with 303 miles for the performance, with 330 miles for the long-range all-wheel drive. The range for the Model X starts at 333 miles for the Plaid, with 348 miles for the regular Model X. The highest range out of all of Tesla's lineup goes to the Model S with 396 miles for the Plaid and goes as high as 405 miles for the regular Model S. Our next energy, abbreviated as the word one, a Michigan-based battery startup is said to have gone even farther, claiming to have gotten 752 miles out of a Tesla Model S on a single charge without stopping to recharge. According to one, it replaced the battery in a Tesla Model S with one of its own designs, a patented technology known as Gemini, and then executed a series of tests to ensure the range was attainable. One was founded in 2020 by Majib Ejaz, a battery systems engineer with over 30 years of experience and a former senior director of energy storage at Apple. With its cost-effective and sustainable battery packs, one hopes to fundamentally transform the range of EVs. The battery that is fitted on the Tesla Model S takes the same amount of space that the standard fitment on the Tesla, but packs twice as much energy. Founder of One, Majibi Jazz, stated the following in regards to its findings. We conducted two tests, the first on public roads in a trip that spanned Detroit, Michigan to Michigan's Upper Peninsula and back. We recorded 752.2 miles on this run at an average speed of 55 miles per hour and in an average ambient temperature conditions below freezing. The second test we conducted indoors on a vehicle dynamometer at 23 degrees Celsius temperature at 55 miles per hour and we achieved 882 miles during this test. It is not surprising that we were getting more range on the dynamometer given the improved temperature conditions and no other factors such as hills and headwinds. If you want to compare one's 752 miles from the modified Tesla to the EQXX's 620, you have to remember that one had a 203.7 kilowatt per hour battery, whilst Mercedes only had 100 kilowatt per hour. Also, people just don't drive at 55 miles per hour all the time. It's also worth mentioning that Mercedes used F1 grade materials in a concept car, whereas one's Gemini battery is still in the proof of concept stage. So it has the required performance and energy density, but not the precise packaging. 
One offered further details about Gemini's technology, stating that they boasted roughly 99.8 kilowatt per hour of energy capacity to the Tesla Model S, which originally came with a 100 kilowatt per hour pack using a higher energy density design. The battery system has an energy density of 416 watts per hour per liter and uses a nickel cobalt manganese cathode and graphite anode. The pack added 331 kilograms in total to the original mass of the battery, while also adding 99.8 kilowatt per hour of energy. The specific energy density of the pack we tested measured at 231 watts per hour per kilogram. The chemistry of employing a nickel cobalt manganese cathode and graphite anode is pretty standard, thus there isn't much insight given by the company other than an amazing energy density though the company has also stated that the chemistry of its Gemini battery would be changed. Gemini will employ a new graphite-free anode and a nickel-cobalt-free cathode improving energy density to approximately 450 watts per hour per liter and 290 watts per hour per kilogram in the long term. We have 10 AH cells on the test that support the system targets above and plan to scale up these test cells to produce 1,000s by mid-2022. We will integrate a full pack using Gemini architecture for pairing an LFP traction battery with a manganese-rich anode-free range extender by the end of 2022. It's worth mentioning that the Tesla Model S involved in one's test was not modified or made efficient for the sake of the test. It was simply given a new battery. As for who confirmed one's testing and while the company said it didn't have the authorization to publish, it appears that the results were validated by a third party that appears to be well known and does EPA ratings for cars regularly. So there is something to watch here and while the two-year-old startup has a lot to offer, it's evident that the technology isn't yet available to the general public. In late 2022, one will begin production of its first product, the Ares. In 2023, a production prototype of the Gemini battery will be unveiled. The biggest takeaway is that we are approaching a tipping point when high mileage EV batteries will begin to appear in the next year or two. And now we want to hear from you. Leave your piece down in the comments below. What do you think about one's Gemini battery? Does this battery get you excited about the future of EV ranges? Or do you see this as one of those promises that are five or 10 years away? And do you believe this promise can be fulfilled without compromising affordability? Whatever you might be thinking, let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.